Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, I showed you how to add this design to your Blogger homepage. And this is my Blogger homepage and this is how it looks right now. So we have added a custom design which we designed over here to our Blogger homepage. And uh, I showed you how to customize this homepage to create this custom design for your Blogger website in the previous video. So if you haven't watched that, you can find the link in the description of this video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to display two of the latest blog posts over here in this design. Right now, we can see that we have this blog menu over here. And if I click on that, we are taken to the index page of our blogger website. And here we have all these posts. But uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to display two of the latest posts over here somewhere. And we need to get the details of the blog post like the thumbnail, title and summary and so on. And we need to display two of them over here. And if the user wants to see all the blogs, they can just go ahead and click on this blog menu. So let's start doing that. In this video, we will just create the design. And uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to add the design to your blogger website. So let's get started. All right, here's our source code. And... Uh, we will add this block section just below this uh, get started section. So here we can see that in the HTML, we have this section with an ID of CTA and in that we have all this content. So let's go outside this section and uh, let's create our code for the list of blog posts. And I will also leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So you can just download it and continue from here. All right, let's go ahead and create a section and let's give it an ID of blog. And the first thing we will do is uh, we will create an H2 just like this. So let's create an H2 and uh, here I just type latest blog posts. And now we can see that the heading is displayed over here and the styles are also applied because we have already added the styles in the style.css file. And uh, the styles are already added over here. Right now let's go ahead and create a division for the list of blog posts. So let's create a division with a class of latest posts list and in this we'll create a division with a class of post for each of the posts so let's create a division with a class of post and in this division we need to have the thumbnail so let's create an img tag and in the src let's add an image now when we add this design to our blogger website we're going to get the source value from the thumbnail of the post but for now i'll just get an image from pixels so here i'm in pixels.com and here you can find free photos and videos for your websites so let's scroll down and let's find an image from here i'll just search for something i'll just search for thumbnail placeholder and uh, let's copy this image over here so i'll just right click over here and click on copy image address and let's go back and let's paste it over here and the next thing we need to do is uh, create the title of the post so for that let's create an s3 and uh, let's also give it a class of title and here i'll just add a title All right this is the title now let's go ahead and create a division for the summary so let's create a division with the class of summary and in this we will add a summary so i'll just quickly go ahead and copy and paste a summary over here Alright, so here I have copied the summary of the post and uh, the last thing we need to have in this is a button for reading the whole post. So outside this division, let's create an anchor tag and here in the href we need to add the link of the post but for now I'll just type hash and here I'll just type read more and let's also give it a class. So let's type class and let's set the class to read more button. And now let's go back to our website and let's see how it looks. So here we can see that all the elements are displayed. We have the title, we have the thumbnail and the title of the post and the summary and the read more button. But now we need to add a link to this thumbnail and also this title. So whenever we click on the title, we need to go to the post and whenever we click on the thumbnail, we need to go to the post as well. So let's go back and uh, here, for the IMG tag, let's create an anchor tag and here we will add the link of the post and I'll just add the ending tag over here. So this IMG tag is inside the anchor tag. So let's do the same for the S3. So I'll just tap anchor tag 
and let's add the S3 inside the anchor tag. Right now, let's go ahead and copy this post from here and let's paste it down one more time. And this is going to be the second post. So I'll just go ahead and change these values. Let's go back to pixels and let's choose a different image. So I'll just choose this image right here. So let's right click over here and click on copy image address. And let's go back and uh, let's paste it over here. So this is the second post. And uh, now let's go ahead and change the title. So I'll just delete this title from here. And let's add a new title. All right, so this is the new title and I'll just copy a summary over here. Right here, I have copied a summary of this post. And now if we go back to our website, here we can see we have the first post and then we have the second post. Now let's go ahead and style this using CSS. So let's go to a styler CSS file and uh, let's scroll down. And let's add the styles over here. So I just create a comment, I just have blog section. And uh, here, the first thing we will do is uh, we will set the display to flex so that both the blog posts are one next to the other. So we have this uh, ID of blog and in that we have this uh, division with the class of latest posts list. So let's tap blog latest posts list and let's set the display to flex and uh, let's give it a gap of 24 pixels between the elements. And here we have the first post and uh, on the right side we have the second post. Now let's go ahead and uh, style this image and we need to reduce the height of the image. So let's go back over here and uh, let's type block. And we have this division with the class of post. And that we have the image. So let's type post image. And uh, let's set a max height for the image. And uh, let's set it to 200 pixels. And uh, let's set the width of the image to 100%. And now we can see that the images are stressed. So let's go ahead and set the object fit to cover. And now they have the correct proportions. Now we can see that this post has a lesser width. So let's go ahead and uh, set the flex of the post to 1. So here we can see that for the container division, we have set a display of flex. So for the children, we can just type flex of one and now both the posts will have the same width all right let's go back to our css and let's also add a border radius so that we have rounded corners and let's set it to eight pixels and this is how it looks all right now let's style the post division so here in the post division let's go ahead and uh, set the background color to white and uh, let's add a padding and uh, let's set the padding to 16 pixels now for this also let's add a border radius and uh, let's set it to 8 pixels and uh, now let's add a box shadow so let's tap box shadow and let's set the value to 4 pixels 0 40 pixels negative 8 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.2 but now let's go ahead and add some line height to this text so here i'll just type line height and I'll just set it to 200%. Now here we can see that we have this gap between the thumbnail and the edges. That's because of the padding that we added over here. So let's remove the padding from the thumbnail. Now we want the thumbnail to stretch to the ends of this division. So let's go back to the HTML and here for the thumbnail, I'll just create a division with a class of thumbnail. And I'll just add this anchor tag inside the division. And let's do the same for the second thumbnail as well. So here let's type thumbnail. And let's cut the ending tag from here and paste it down here. And now let's go to the style CSS file and let's target this thumbnail division. Here let's tap blog thumbnail. And uh, we need to set a negative margin. So let's type margin and uh, let's set it to negative. And we need to set the same value as the padding. So let's type negative 16 pixels. And now we can see that the image has stretched to the width of the division. Now when we added this negative margin, we also have added a negative margin to the bottom. But we don't want to affect the margin bottom. So let's go back over here and let's tap margin bottom and let's set it to zero. 
Right now, let's style this title. So for the title, we have this uh, S3 with a class of title. So let's type blog post title. And uh, let's set the font size of the title to 24 pixels. And uh, let's set the line height to 150%. And let's set the margin to 8 pixels, top and bottom, and 0 for left and right. And this is how our title looks. Now let's style this summary. Now for the summary, we don't want to display all this text over here. We'll just display a couple of lines of text. So for that, let's go back and uh, let's target the summary. And for the summary, we have this uh, division with a class of summary. So let's type blog post summary. And uh, let's add a max height so i just tap max height and let's set it to 95 pixels and let's set the overflow to hidden so that anything outside this uh, 95 pixels will not be displayed and now we can see that the summary is just displayed in three lines now for the last line of the summary we'll just fade out to a transparent color so that uh, we know that there are more content so let's go back over here and uh, we will use an after selector for that so i just tap blog post summary colon colon after and we need to position this after selector relative to this summary so here i just type position relative and uh, here let's type position absolute now for the content i'll just type blank and uh, now let's set the bottom position to zero and let's set the left position to zero and uh, let's set the width of the element to 100 percent and let's set the height of the element to 60 pixels and uh, now if we add a background color so let's tap red here we can see that this is the after selector now let's add a linear gradient color over here so here instead of red let's tap linear gradient and uh, let's tap transparent for the first color and uh, we'll just set the percentage to zero percent and for the next color let's type white and here just tap 85 percent and now we can see that the text fades out and we know that there is some more content right now let's style this read more button so for that we have this anchor tag with a class of read more btn so just tap blog and let's tap post read more btn and uh, let's set the font weight to bold and uh, let's set the color of the text to blue Right now we want to bring this button to the right side so what we will do is we will change this into a display of flex so let's go back to the post and here for the post let's set the display to flex and let's set the flex direction to column and now you can go ahead and uh, target this uh, read more button and here you can just type align self and you can just set it to flex end and now we can see that the button is on the right side and that's basically it with the design of this block section and uh, let's also add a hover effect so when we hover over this uh, we will change the size of these posts so let's go ahead and type blog post colon hover and uh, let's type transform scale and let's set the scale to 1.03 and let's also add a smooth transition so for that let's go back to the post over here and let's type transition and let's set it to all 300 milliseconds is and now when we hover over this we can see that we have this hover effect right now let's add some styles for the mobile version so when we are on a smaller screen we just want to display one post in a row so for that let's go back over here and uh, let's go to this uh, media query and here let's add some styles so I'll just type blog section and this is a media query for uh, max width of 600 pixels so whenever the width is less than 600 pixels for the browser window these styles will be added so here let's target the container division which is latest posts list so let's type blog latest posts list and uh, here we need to set the flex direction to column and now we can see that the blog posts are one below the other and it looks all right let's go back to the desktop version and here also it looks all right all right that's basically it with the design of this blog section now in the next video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger website and here we'll also fetch the details of these blog posts from the blogger website and display them over here. So we will do that in the next video and if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates.
Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Thank you.